Hello, everyone, and thank you for t tuning in to this broadcast. I am Linda Nail Fanatic, and this is your Love, Peace, and Happiness daily tarot reading for Saturday, September 10th, 2016. And I am here uh, as the owner of Nail Fanatic's Artistry Design Studio and Love, Peace, and Happiness Tarot in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm doing this work because of my love for humanity. I love my brothers and sisters. I love all of us. I love you all. I want us all to benefit ourselves. And so I do these tarot readings with that motivation. I also do personal readings. If you would like a personal reading, I would need you to um, first off determine what is the value of the reading to you and the reason that that is so important is because that's going to be the price of your reading I don't set a price for spiritual work rather I work by donation and so um, if you would like a personal reading you will have to figure out what is the value of the information to you send that in a PayPal donation to this address and then I'm going to send you back a reading that reciprocates that value back to you and hopefully gets you the question. Now, of course, um, the more time I have available to do your reading based on your donation, then the more in depth I can get with your reading for you. So um, I do reserve the right to refuse service and for readings of value of $60 or more, you have the option as opposed to getting a YouTube upload like everyone else, you will have the option of a live real-time reading whether it's by phone or live streaming or if you're here in Las Vegas you can come to my studio and it'd be really fun to get the reading in person so love source God thank you thank you thank you for allowing me to receive and deliver these divine messages from my brothers and sisters of humanity who are viewing this reading in particular regarding Saturday September 10th 2016 what are the divine messages that apply most for their love, peace, and happiness? What are the things that are of utmost importance to be revealed to them? What should they know? And help me to receive and deliver the messages with accuracy, clarity, and, and, and clear understanding so that they can be able to receive and have that as well for themselves. Clarity is a beautiful thing, and we're so grateful for it this morning. This morning, we're so grateful for the spiritual connection that allows for these channel messages to be delivered and these tarot messages to be delivered and we know that it is all divine from our love source God love source God says tell them why you call me love source God because all things are love love is all that exists love is the only true thing all things are made of love because all things are made of the energy of love and so with that love source God is the source of all that energy and many people call him that God and it is the source of love so what are the messages for my brothers and sisters for today this one one here two here and three here Close this deck up. Set this aside for just a moment. And then I will draw from my words of clarity custom word deck. If you would like one of these, please email me for more information on how to have a custom clarity, words of clarity deck channeled specifically just for you, which is why it's custom because. I channel the words and design it just for you. If it in, intrigues you, then definitely send me an email. I will be honored to channel a deck for you. So thank you, Love Source God, for adding clarity to the reading by means of these words. Just a 
with clarity to add clarity to the reading that we've already received this one here and this one here okay And then we just need one more card for clarity and punctuation on the reading from our Phantasmagoric Theater Tarot deck. weight of this deck but it definitely makes the card slip and slide around on me but I love it sometimes they slip and slide just right well not sometimes always so that'll be our clarity card as well let's get right on into this we have the Four of Swords, rest and recuperation crossed by the devil. What tempts you, what binds you, and the star is the outcome. The bottom of the deck is the King of Swords. Um, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, masculine energy. Mm, could be a Capricorn here. Um, but... Immediately, I'm getting a spiritual message here that says for us to be intellectually focused and holding to our truths, willing to cut out any of the BS. And look, reflection comes up underneath that. And it's almost like he's looking at his reflection in the sword. Um, definitely he is the king who is the master of thought. We have the queen of cups coming out here. And so, you know, the page of coins came out here. I wasn't going to use it, but Love Source God says, yes, use the damn card. Okay, there you go. Four of Swords, rest and recuperation crossed by what tempts you, what binds you, what controls you, what what makes you lust, what makes you desire. And it says familial, in, inherited, ancestral, hereditary on this custom word clarity deck card. So we're looking at, for some of us, we're looking at some addiction, habit, recurring situation that comes back from our family um, something that you've picked up from your family oh yes love source God says we're dealing with thoughts it's their negative thoughts that have been brought drained trained into them since they were children it was trained into your parents it was trained into your grandparents to look at these things in a negative way excuse me I have to get a drink mm. water life water drink it drink as much as you can um yeah so right now you're at a period of rest and recuperation you're doing some reflection and you need to acknowledge all of these negative self images negative thought patterns negative beliefs about money these things are holding you back from first off your negative beliefs about money are holding you back from your wealth and these things are, have been inherited. It was watching your parents struggle. It was your grandparents talking about how money don't grow on trees. It was all of these things combined that have formed your early young mind thoughts that have created you to be in a place where you're at now. If it's about love, it's about um, the feelings of worthiness. It's about feeling that there's no such thing as true love or all of these different beliefs. So right now we're really being forced, not forced, allowed to be in a position to where we're able to look at these negative beliefs that come from our ancestral lines and 
with the king of swords at the bottom i really feel like the king of swords is saying you need to discover the truth about these things and so right now we're being encouraged to perform a surgery cut out all these false beliefs that are limiting us and blocking us from our fullest potential with the star card showing up here if we take that sword from the king of swords and cut out all these negative beliefs replace them with what is the divine viewpoint what is our wishes what is true about that which we wish that that we might have it then we can actually begin with this page of coins to manifest in a new way our daily life our physical um, situation our financial situation is coming very strongly and it's also about um, our focus the Queen of Cups is the intuitive Queen she puts a focus to things because she knows that by her very attention to these things she causes manifestation to occur also it's about her psychic insight and it's also about appreciating the good life so we need to acknowledge that we have wishes and dreams and hopes that we have yet to fulfill and these limiting beliefs are being put in front of us right now that's why we have the reflection card here as well of source God brings to my attention so that way we can look at ourselves honestly and and face up to these false limiting beliefs so that we can free ourselves from the consequences of these untruths that were bred into us programmed into us by society by our parents by our grandparents who also either knew no better or as far as um, some of these programming programming um, that we've received some of this programming that we received you know the intention was to keep you from being able to achieve your highest potential they would rather have you work as a as a part of the machine than to get out of their machine and create your own so anyhow you need to really look at look at some of these false beliefs if you would like a more in-depth reading on what are some of these blockages for you in the areas of love career and finance and just your overall health and well-being uh, definitely get in touch with me uh, I am Melinda Nail Fanatic this video will be posted up on my YouTube channel by by my name Melinda Nail Fanatic and I would appreciate your support on my YouTube as well as on my Facebook uh, Melinda Nail Fanatic is my artist page like that please for a fuller um, understanding of who and what I am if you're interested in that and your personal reading requests uh, you can send to this email address along with your donation uh, when you send your donation send your clear and specific questions in the comment section as well as your contact information and I will reciprocate back to you a reading that is specifically geared towards you so that you can have clear and um, specific answers to your questions thank you thank you thank you love source God thank you thank you thank you everyone viewing and love peace and happiness to you and yours and of course me and mine until next time